Welcome back my sexy friends. It's a beautiful day out here in Canadian land and if you want to take notice you can see that I have uh, two Mustangs in the garage which means I probably I'm probably gonna start liking penis soon or something. Yes, if you watched my last video, this is a new car we picked up, the 2017 Mustang GT base model, because that's how we roll. But it's got the performance pack on it, which is pretty neat. The performance pack includes like spring shocks, bigger sway bar, limited slip rear end, new wheels, new tires, uh, better better rear gear, and uh, it's stick, so we can rub our vagina on it. So we have a busy day ahead of us. Uh, we're trying to get ready to go to AFR tomorrow to work on the Supra because as you can tell there's no Supra in the garage. So you have to pack a bunch of our car parts. We got to get stuff filmed. We got to get the camera gear ready and we, we're probably going to go race this car too while we're down there. So uh, let's get started with this day. I got, I got some stuff to do. Of course we had to do that lame pull out thingy big bajiggy that takes an extra 20 minutes out of my day. We've already got 478 kilometers on it. Just put my first tank of fuel in it today, which was outrageous because uh, fuel prices in Canadian land are really stupid and they don't make sense. We literally pull the oil out of the ground in this town, but it's $1.58 per liter for 91 octane. I can't convert that to you gallon guys, but times 1.57 uh, times like 3.87, I think it is. Someone correct me on my math, but that's a lot of money per gallon of fuel. So it took me $77 to fill from a quarter tank, which is kind of like $6 US. Our currency is bullshit. Okay, so I get this one a lot. Might as well address it. Kyle, what do you do for a living? You have a Mustang, brand new, you own a Supra, and you have another Mustang build. Well, besides the obvious being a uh, straight up fuck boy, and sometimes touching men for, for money, not gay, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Besides all of those things for serious, uh, well, one, you could say YouTube. YouTube is kind of an income, but not really. Um, I don't rely on it all that much, and it's not really that significant yet. However, we might get there one day. So, if you want to help out, just make sure you hit the subscribe button because that's the best way to help out. So, besides that, I'm a heavy equipment operator for a pretty big oil mining company. And for you, like, uh, environmentally friendly people, I do own a, a big V8 now. Yeah, five liters is big to me. Supras, three liters. I operate some of the world's biggest dump trucks, which include the Cat 797, the Komatsu 980E. I apologize for the wind. It just picked up out of nowhere. It's like ruining my hair and shit. But I do have one of these. Can you hear me now? And hopefully that blocks out the wind. But I definitely don't mind disclosing what I make because I like being honest and transparent with you guys. So currently my wage is like $52 an hour Canadian monies, which is like, I don't know, four and a half dollars an hour US monies uh, after taxes and shipping, you know. Um, we do get taxed pretty heavily. We do get taxed pretty heavily here in Canadian land and the cost of living for where I live is super, super high. My house is like, 1800 square feet and I think I paid a little over half a million dollars for it Yep, that's a uh, story of my life. So yes, I do pretty all right for uh, For what I am who I am For how many buttholes I touch I just thought I'd share that wealth of information with you guys You guys might want to know you guys are always asking and I do see that some of you guys do take the moment to reply to those comments for me And I appreciate it now here's the bad part. It's all good getting $52 an hour or whatever it is close to that. However, I work a six and six schedule and let me detail what that is for you. I work three day shifts and then I have 24 hours off and then I work three night shifts and then I'll have six days off. But here's the catch. I catch a bus ride in the morning at 6.30 a.m. I get to work for 7.30 a.m. and work starts at eight and then I work until eight and then I catch another bus at 8.25, home, and I'll get home by like 9.15. So realistically, I'm not anywhere near my house from 6 a.m. until 9 p.m. If you do the math, that's like 15 hours. So I'm gone 15 hours a day. We can't have our phones, we can't have cameras, we can't have laptops because we're just operators. That's why it's a little difficult to keep up with these videos consistently. I'm doing my best. I love making these videos. I love being with you guys. That's 
kind of why you don't see any females in my videos. It's just like not in my lifestyle. I like doing YouTube things, CrossFit things, and work things I have to do just to pay my bills. So that's my rant of the day. Hope you guys don't hate me for it. And if you guys heard it before, then, then thanks for listening again. Here you guys go. Goodbye. Probably slide the seat back. Robert's a big bitch. I got crumbs on my seat. Sup, buddy? It's different than the dude. Yep. Yeah. Say hello to everyone. Show them your big dick. Hey, can't go showing that. Lens ain't big enough. <laughs> so we're gonna go for a rip. Hopefully, uh, Robert's not a vagina tater chip like Eric was. What? And not. Yeah, he didn't pin it. Really? Yeah. What are you gonna use in the winter? This? That's future Kyle's problems. And this car was made in 1964. <laughs> Yes! My vagina's wet! I needed that, oh. You know what it is. Everything I do, I do it big. Yeah. I'm screaming that We gotta use the line lock. Test out this line lock. May as well use the quarter mile app too while we're at it. Fourteen point seven seconds. At um, well, to make you feel bad, I did thirteen three the other day. Yeah. So I just finished up CrossFit with Eric. He kicked my ass and uh, I kicked my own ass. But uh, we gotta start getting stuff ready for AFR. So we have all our camera gear here. If you don't know what's in my camera bag, we have our spare camera here that we don't use anymore, the T6i. We have batteries being charged all over the place. This is for the gimbal. We have Mounts for windshields, GoPros, extra lenses, lenses, SD cards. Then I've been hoarding a bunch of parts in the house too that we have to take. Not gonna lie, I went way, way over budget on the Super this year. In reality, I didn't even wanna take the engine out of it over the winter. I just wanted to upgrade the suspension and we did a whole lot more than that. So over here we have, we've got a brake proportion valve. We've got a new master cylinder kit. So this is a brake booster delete kit. It's a strange master cylinder with a uh, buck performance kit that deletes um, the booster. And here should be from Paul Yaw. I know that's Shane Tecklenburg's favorite person ever. This be our ID 2000s. In here we have our new Link ECU. We upgraded. So the old ECU actually went to Jesse from Locals. They're in Calgary. They're like eight hours away from me. They, you can just find them. Locals, like 150,000 subscribers. This is our new Link ECU. It's the Thunder version, obviously, but it has way more inputs and outputs than my last ECU. So along with being a very, very capable ECU, um, it actually has built-in accelerometer and built-in dual lambda. So you can run two wide bands right from the ECU itself and it has an accelerometer built into it. So this should be able to step up my tuning game a little bit more. We can add a whole bunch more sensors, have a bunch more inputs, outputs. It's just everything that we're gonna need for a race car. And then here, the last thing, Platinum Racing Products GTR R35 coil kit that bolts up to a 2JZ. So you get all OEM GTR coils. You get a loom. They tell you how to pin it out to use for a stock harness if you want to. Um, mine's just gonna be built into the harness and then they give you these adapter pieces. And you won't have to deal with these pulling out because the way that this kit is designed. This kit 
has been proven to over 1500 horsepower. I should have no issues at all with my ignition system. With this upgraded ignition system, ECU, the turbo, literally the only thing I need to upgrade is that short block and I should be able to add like three or 400 more wheel horsepower. Where, where? Wheel horsepower. I'm also gonna bring my helmet because uh, we might go racing, race the Mustang, see where she goes. Vlogmaster himself. That's the man nope. that does everything. I like Any penis now. Yeah, except oh, yeah. there's a 350 right here. Oh yeah. I just like started um, doing a whole like a LS. zoom in, zoom out thing. And... LS. Yeah, it could. You know what? You know what? Check out that Brembo's! The rear ones. <laughs> so we got rear ones and then we go. <laughs> Not rear ones. <laughs> But we got front buns. Okay, boys, so we're about to load up this car and uh, see how big the trunk space actually is uh, because we're going to the AFR in the morning. I would give you an update on this Mustang. However, the turbo is going to be at AFR. I ordered some stainless steel piping for the hot side, some V-bands. We are not going to run these manifolds. Uh, what we're going to do is I actually got some truck manifolds over here. So we're gonna clean these up, uh, put some V-bands on the end here, make them real nice. And I think that's gonna fix our space, space issue a little bit. It looks like the truck manifolds are gonna come more pointed down than these, and they're a lot shorter, so we'll have more room to just fill the piping. So it's not a super high performance build, but it'll be, it's, it's a good learning experience, and that's really all I wanted from it. So yeah, we're gonna start loading up a bunch of stuff in the back of this car. Um, I'm just gonna get prepped tonight so I can leave tomorrow and I'm gonna edit this video and upload it tonight for you guys uh, I don't really have much to work on. I was gonna do a um, a car review today on this But my friend Prudence couldn't make it and I don't really want to make it without her because she'll make it a lot better Instagram names here. Yeah, she does. She does adult things We're really gonna test the limits of this trunk. I guess I should probably shave too because it's coming all patchy I bought a Mustang, I couldn't afford more puberty. I must admit, the trunk space is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> and another thing, Ford actually doesn't give you a spare tire. What they give you instead is an air pump. So I'm kind of making this just so you guys aren't high and dry. Um, it's been like six days or something since I last uploaded a video and I'm leaving tomorrow to go to AFR so I wanted to make something to hold you guys over. So I'm going there, we're gonna be working on the Supra, we'll film that. Um, we'll be filming the shop, if they have any miscellaneous cool things there. Or this Friday, I guess, I'm gonna to go to Castro uh, Raceway in Edmonton, or Leduc or wherever it's located. And I'm probably gonna race this Mustang just to see what it's gonna do. Then Saturday, I think I'm going to stay at Castro uh, with Tokyo because he goes to every drift event and I'll probably just hang out with Tokyo and watch him drifting, probably film that too. So uh, I got an exciting couple days coming up and uh, just get out in the sun, man. It's dark outside now, but it was sunny earlier. Uh, that got excessive real fast. There's a lot left on my Supra that I didn't realize. So it was just to put the rest of this stuff in the car, probably in the back seat somewhere because it won't fit in the back. Uh, and the rest of my camera gear, we're gonna leave out in the morning. So if you guys are at Castro Raceway on Friday night, street legals, make sure you come hit me up, give me a high five, give me a, whatever you want to give me and I'll give you whatever, whatever you, you need. Yeah, just just living my life, bro, living my life. Just always on the run, trying to, trying to provide the best, trying to get racing, and Yoshi is the best. Peace, bros.